I'm not making this up. Hillary Clinton won in Iowa literally because of six coin tosses. Actually, yes, you are making that up. She did not literally win by six coin tosses. Make it stop! Stop it, hand! Stop it! It won't stop! Help me! There was, let's say there's 100 people caucusing for Bernie Sanders, 100 caucusing for Hillary Clinton. That's a dead heat. No, that is not how the Iowa caucusing system works for the Democrat Party. It would be more correct to say there are 200 people caucusing for the Democrat Party. You wouldn't say there's 100 caucusing for Ms. Clinton. You wouldn't say there's 100 caucusing for Bernie Sanders. That's not how it works. And let's say that in that precinct, there's 41 state delegates to be divided, okay? 20 for you, 20 for me. Who gets that, 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 that 41st delegate? No, you would not have 41 delegates. You would have 40.0015 delegates. Let us talk about the Iowa caucus system for the Democrats. You have a precinct. They are going to have a caucus. 1,001 potential delegates go to that precinct to caucus. At a specific time, the door is closed and the uh, sentinel armorer, uh, the master at arms, blocks the door so that nobody can come in and hopefully nobody leaves. Everybody signs a register saying, this is my name, I am registered to vote, I am a member of this political party, and I am not actively campaigning for any other uh, party. There are 1,001 people in that room caucusing for that party. Let us suppose there are three possible candidates. You divide the room into three sections, and everybody who is currently in favor of each candidate goes to those room, uh, sections of the room. You have a large group over here, you have a large group over here, and you have a tiny group over here. That tiny group might have four uh, supporters for that candidate. Let us say the candidate is Sarah Palin, and they can all see Alaska out the window. The tiny group of uh, four Palin supporters do not meet the threshold um, required to be a sub-caucus, so that that sub-caucus is invalidated. And the members, the four members of that sub-caucus that has been invalidated are asked to choose a different sub-caucus. Let us say sub-caucus Hillary Clinton, sub-caucus Bernie Sanders. Since 1,001 people went into the room and the door was closed, and since for some bizarre reason uh, Secretary Clinton and Senator Sanders have 50-50 support, except there's that one person. You have 500 people here. You have 501 people there. To <coughs> calculate the delegates that are reported up party communication line, you have that one, the 1,000th one person. It could be for Ms. Clinton. It could be for Senator Sanders. So you divide the head count by the number of uh, people caucusing and, and you get like 50-50, 50%, 50%. Only one has 50.0015%. Since we are not allowed to 
dice and slice human beings, uh, delegates, into tiny little pieces, let alone thousands of a piece. Uh, at least not yet. Vote for Trump and we will. We'll get there someday. What does one do? You have, let's say, 40 delegates for Hillary. You have 40.001 delegate for Sanders. We need an integer. Who decides where that delegate goes? In a fair system, it would go for the person standing, the 501th person, it would go there. Instead, in Iowa, since it is so close to 50-50, and since there is 101 delegates going to be reported, you can't really say uh, 50 delegates, 50 delegates, because there's that one delegate. Um, because the fraction of a sub caucus has been rounded up to a whole person. So you actually have 101 delegates. Where does that one delegate go? To be fair, it would go to the 1,000th one person, or more specifically, the 501th person, wherever that sub caucus was. It does not. A coin is tossed. You have 101 delegates. The coin is tossed to see which uh, sub caucus, and therefore which candidate, that one delegate goes to. That one delegate is not actually a one delegate. It is a tiny fraction of a delegate. But like I said, we're not allowed to chop up delegates yet. This means Ms. Secretary Clinton did not win by six coin, coin tosses. She won by having more delegates in all of the other precincts than Senator Sanders did. Plus six delegates. We flip a coin. Literally, there were six of those in the state, and Hillary won all six. Yes, the odds of that is one in 64. Very unlikely. That is worse odds than putting, uh, going to a roulette table and putting $100 on number nine and having the ball land in number nine. Which means it is very likely that the gods wanted Hillary Clinton to win the Iowa caucus for the Democrats. So she beat out Bernie Sanders by a, by a margin of those, of those coin flips. She ended up getting 22 delegates total. He got 21 to go on to the national convention. Yes and no. Secretary Clinton got a tiny fraction of a delegate more than Senator Sanders. <clears throat> but like I said, vote for Trump and she would have got that tiny fraction. She might have got maybe four fingers. She might have got an ear. I don't know. But since we're not allowed to do that yet, we'll get there. She got a very tiny fraction of a delegate but we had to give her an entire whole delegate. Um, so what? If you can think of a better fair method than tossing a coin, please step forward and let everybody know, because I'm sure everybody would like to know. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. <laughs>